Hello, I would like to spend a few minutes talking to you about a new drug that is available for patients with wet macular degeneration. This drug is called ILEA and it was approved by the Food and Drug Administration on November 18, 2011. ILEA is also called the VEGF trap or a flibaricept and would be used in place of drugs such as Avastin and Lucentis. The primary advantage of ILEA compared to other drugs for treating wet macular degeneration appears to be that ILEA lasts about twice as long as a comparable dose of Avastin or Lucentis. The recommended dosing for ILEA is one injection every month for the first three months and then one injection every two months after that. So after the first three months, ILEA would be given every two months where Lucentis and Avastin are typically given every month. Now some patients are already able to extend the interval between doses of Avastin or Lucentis to more than a month. So if you're someone who is receiving an injection of Avastin say every two months and that is keeping your vision stable, would you be able to extend ILEA to say every four months between injections? That's a good question that we don't really know the answer to because since ILEA was only recently approved by the FDA, it has only been used under very strict guidelines and alternative dosing strategies have not really been studied. But it is a question that will become apparent over the next year or two after use of ILEA becomes much more prevalent. Macular degeneration is a disease that occurs in the center of the retina, which is in the back of the eyeball. ILEA works to bind substances which cause the development of abnormal blood vessels underneath the retina or under the macula. When these blood vessels form under the retina and when they leak fluid, the vision becomes distorted and blurred. Because macular degeneration affects only the center part of the retina, the peripheral vision is usually unaffected. However, in severe cases of macular degeneration, which is usually the case with wet macular degeneration, all of the central vision may become blurred. The goal of therapy is to prevent or reduce the amount of vision loss in the center of the vision. Wet macular degeneration is caused by the growth of abnormal blood vessels in the space underneath the retina. The abnormal blood vessels are called neovascularization and they result in decreased vision. The severity of vision loss in macular degeneration is determined by the size and location of the blood vessels. In other words, if there is a large group of abnormal blood vessels right in the center of the macula, the vision will be more severely affected than if there is a small group of blood vessels that are over at the side of the macula. Treatment to improve the vision or prevent further vision loss is primarily aimed at controlling these abnormal blood vessels. We are frequently asked about the cost of these drugs. Those of us who were hoping that ILEA would be priced significantly less than Lucentis are disappointed that it's $1,850 per dose. It appears that even if ILEA were priced at the same price as Lucentis, however, the cost would be approximately half of the cost for treatment with Lucentis since ILEA is only given half as often. From this, we suspect that treatment with ILEA will be far less expensive than Lucentis, but still significantly more expensive than Avastin. So, in summary, there is a new drug that is available for treating macular degeneration that can be used in place of Lucentis or Avastin. The drug is called ILEA. 
Ilea probably works about as well as Lucentis, but may not work any better, except for the fact that it can be given half as often as Lucentis. Although the cost of Ilea will be considerably less than Lucentis, it will still be more expensive than treatment with Avastin. Thank you for watching. If you felt that this information was helpful and would like to watch it again, you can watch this at your home computer by using YouTube and looking for Mayo I Podcast. This is podcast number one. Thank you very much.